Hop on in, B. All right, man, where are we going? I'm going to show you where you can get some work. Man, this thing is loud. Oh, yeah, it's loud as hell. I told, the, I told the mechanic, make it as obnoxious as possible. Now, my brain don't like this area right here, so be careful. So this be the spot right here, G. Where do you go? So basically, it's only open certain hours of the day. But I don't know if it's open right now. What the... What was that? I don't know what that was, B. What do you do? I, was, I knocked on it and it didn't do nothing. So what do you do? You just wait here? Yeah, you wait till you wait till the it's more daylight out. You know, usually it's open. And basically, you go in, you move, you move the stuff around, you sell the stuff to the the recycling boxes to a man that looks like this guy who's afraid of COVID-19, right? And then uh, you come out here with the stuff that man gives you, and you trade it in here. Well, that's pretty easy. Hundred and sixty dollars. I mean, that ain't no that ain't no money right there, man. Oh yeah, no, no. You come in here for an hour, you make tens of thousands of dollars. You make a whole lot of money. Is that not enough money for you? I'm gonna say no, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to make millions. Oh, you trying to make millions? Hey, so what about like robbing? Robbing? Like, do I look like somebody that robs somebody? Man, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do to make money. Cause I mean, I don't want to sit here all day and do that shit, man. Well, I'm confused. You think you want to make millions of dollars, right? You want to be a millionaire, but you can't even figure out how to share your number on your phone. I mean, you got a good point there, man. That's a confusing situation. And I was willing to help you out. Are you coming over here to recycle, too? Sell materials. I don't know if they're going to do it. Yeah, it's, it's not open, lady. You can move along. We're talking about something. No, 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 no. We can, hey, come here. We can talk. Come here. Forget about that guy. He's being mean. You make money over here? Is that how much money you make over here? Last time I made like twenty thousand or something. How long that take? That took about half an hour. That's not too bad. come in here a lot? Uh, yeah, I do. Hmm. Man, selling materials don't sound too bad, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, ask her about it. She know all about the, the, the material stuff. This is a good job. It is. Tell, tell the man how much money you make. 
Uh, right now I have 77,000 in my bank. And that's from one or two trips. So, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's not too bad. I guess you gotta know somebody to make some real money around here, you know? Yeah. Well, that's who I'm trying to find. Well, this guy knows, all this guy right here knows how to do is this. I'm guessing this is what you do, too. Mm-hmm. No, I, I run this whole motherfucker. Oh, you, you run this, but all you tell me about is this? That's weird. Oh, I try to, you know, I hardly know you. That's fine. I totally get that, man. So what, what else are you interested in? What kind of work? What? Tell me about your resume. Resume is, well, pretty much, okay, so I told you about how my mama used to slap me around with the spatula, right? Because she worked over at the Mickey Donald's, and we grew up poor, right? Grew up dirt, dirt, dirt poor. My daddy's name was Philip, too, and he, he was he was a police, and I wasn't really, you know, I don't, I don't, I fuck the police, you know what I mean? Like, I don't get along with the five for one, okay? Number two, where I came from, man, there just wasn't a lot of opportunity out there for making a lot of money. Because, like I said, if you don't, if you didn't know somebody, then you really couldn't do anything. It was pretty much controlled by, you know, a handful of people. And that just wasn't my kind of place, man. So I figured I'd try this place out, and here we are again. But I've pretty much done a lot, man. Uh, I just, yeah, like I said about the phone deal, man, I ain't never seen this kind of phone before. We had a whole, we had the, the Samsung, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This here's the J phone or whatever it is. The J phone? I don't know what it's called. Wait, sorry. I still don't know a lot about your resume. You must have had a job somewhere else. Might not here though. You ain't you ain't ever like uh, work at the movie theater. You never, uh, you know, you never cleaned up the garbage. Drive the taxi. No, I ain't never done none of that stuff, man. Like I said, the last city I was in, man, we had we had a handful of people that run around and uh, they basically, you know. Did you know? Did their things? Did you know what they did? You know what not? You know what I'm saying? And if, like I said, if you weren't with one of them groups, you know, if you weren't in a gang, if you were just regular old person, you know, there was really nothing to do because you either did this or you were in a gang. And I'm just, I'm not really about the gang life. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to come up, make a living. You know, and. I mean, shoot, I wouldn't mind getting my CDL and driving a truck. You know, that'd be something, but that's just, mm -hmm. it don't sound worth it to me. You know what I mean? But I will tell you this. I know I know, I know, know the streets of Los Santos like the back of my hand. I can get around in and I know every alley and every corner and crevice you can get into, man. I was real good on a motorcycle. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to get. That's what I need some money for, man. Got to get me a motorcycle. So I wasn't able to ship it over here with me. They don't. They don't really allow, allow that. So let me ask you this: If I was to show you a place where you could manufacture stuff that you could resell, that wasn't quite, you know, it, it might be frowned upon. Would you? Would you be interested in something like that where you can make some money? Absolutely. I might know a guy who can come, who can look at that with you. I mean, this is the kind of place where if you, if you hustle, you could make millions. Not overnight. Nobody makes a million overnight. Unless they're like, you know, harvesting rubber or something. But nobody make a million overnight. But this place... Man, it'll get you there fast. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I gave him a call. I texted him. He he should be he should be here shortly. And he's the he's the boy. He knows all the spots. So we we'll take you there. We'll show you how to do it, how to do all them shits. And even I'll even help you get set up with the little upfront stuff. You know what I mean? That's what I like to hear. Hey, I didn't catch your name, by the way. What's your name? Lilith. Lilith. That's cute. You got a middle name, Lilith? Uh, Leah. Lilith and Leah. Double L. Look, I wouldn't be out of line if I asked for your phone number, would I? I don't mind. Well, like he knows, I don't know how to work that damn thing. Just send it my way. I'll give you a holler. Yo, people right here, they don't know how to drive. That's me right there. That's oh. me. So what are we doing? Is somebody coming over here going to show me, <clears throat> show me the ropes, man? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, we'll we'll go to the place where we show you the ropes, and it's it's basically like you know, I I can't just give you the keys to the city, but I can show you where the door is. I oh, yeah, that's what I like to hear. I show you where we operate. You know, you catch that one, G? Hey, you said we, man. It ain't no gang or nothing. No, nah, I don't do gangs. <laughs> Not part of the gang either. All right, let's go. Let's go with our boy here. Our boy here. Hey, Lilith. I'll, uh, oh, you coming along? Yeah, I'm going with you. No, I mean, is Lilith coming? Here, let me get in the back seat. You, you sit up front, baby girl. Oh. Hey, it's that same guy. What's going on, man? I didn't get your name. Kip. Kip. Oh, man, that's a cool name. All right, where are we rolling to? Yeah, I want to take him to the spot where we show him how to use his materials to make money. Mark it on the GPS for me, man. Yeah, this spot right here. I want to train him up. He, he he gonna learn how to make him and me money. Well, let's do it. I mean, bro, bro, you show interest in this. You show interest in putting in work. I'll, I'll put money in your hand, basically. Locals on this damn road. Yo, we ain't got to get there yesterday. We can take our time, bro. Am I driving too fast for you? Yeah, you all right. You all right. Just, you know, be careful. We want to get there all in one piece, you know?
Yo, watch out for them coyotes. They need to watch out for me. Sometimes I go driving my car out here in my golf. I hear them singing. Yeah, yeah, this is the spot right here. What do we do here? So I showed you the warehouse, right? I showed you the warehouse. You get the materials, and then you come in here. Yeah, you got to come around here, B. What the fuck? Sorry, son of motherfuckers. What you guys doing here? Set me up, you motherfuckers. Yo, yo, B.I. I just trying to show you this spot. You set me up, you sorry pieces of shit. Wait, wait, who are you? Who are oh, you? You oh, in the red, talk. Oh, to be real, to be real, dog, you ought to leave this cop here in the red. He a cop. Oh, you we a brought, cop? We brought him out here to blame him, and we didn't know you were going to be here. Ah, uh, you know these places are on site, cuh. Who are you? Yo, I'm DJ yeah. Ro. Oh, what about you in the red? My uh, name's red, red Boy's my a name's cop. Phil. I ain't no motherfucking cop. You nah, he a cop. Ass, What's your name? He you a cop? He my a name's cop. Philip. Philip, alright. What about you? I'm Kip. Alright, what about you right here? The, the girl, the girl, she just unfortunately didn't take my my warning to walk away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. Y'all are gonna have to run them pockets. Starting with you, man. You need to get me, give me the pillbox. Leave this pig out here. I don't know what you guys are doing here. I brought that red cop out here to blame his ass. You need to get the rest of us the pillbox. They're saying this dude's a cop. I don't know, man. I don't believe you guys. Hmm. Does look like he's a cop. Are you undercover or something? Yo, you better you better talk, cuz. Hey, I'll, 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 all I know. All I know is, all I know is, all I know is, my, I can't. Uh. What you guys? You motherfuckers, man, I tell you what, these guns are cock-tucky motherfuckers. Y'all calling the cops? I don't like the cops, man. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, B, I, I think the cops might be coming here. I think so, too. Hey, no, 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 this dude has an AR. I'm gonna need you right here. Oh. oh shit. I'm telling you, B, get us out of here. Oh, that shit was electric! I did not expect fucking Pinkman to come out of there. I don't think Jesse Pinkman planned that scene. He heard us walking up and just fucking blam because that's what Jesse Pinkman does. And I didn't think about the fact that he's been grinding to try to make ARs and sell them because that's probably what really happened. I don't think anybody told him to be there.
Yo, B, I woke up in the hospital with these cuffs on, man. I don't know what to do about it. I did, too. How we do gotta, we get out of them? We got to find somebody with with uh, handcuffs, handcuff keys. Here we do. Man, that was cr crazy. You told me to go to this one spot, and we get there, and I don't remember what happened. Yeah, me neither, bro. I, I just know I woke up in the hospital with fucking handcuffs on. Me too. How we got? How we gonna get out of these handcuffs? I I can only think of one people that got keys to the handcuffs, and that's the police. And how do we contact them in the handcuffs? Hey, hey, girl. Uh, we woke up in a hospital with handcuffs on. Oh. You know how to get these handcuffs off us? Dude, it's just I don't have any on me. I have uh, some lock picks in my pocket if you want to get them. Maybe that could help. Maybe. Can you lock pick a handcuff? I just don't know how to get in my pockets handcuffed. Yeah. I do not know how to get out of this dilemma. Are there any cops on duty? Well, that didn't seem to work. What'd you try to do just now? I tried to loosen them. With coffee. Yeah. What, what did you think about to do that? I used my F1 muscle. Oh, yeah, I, I can't do that. Yeah, it won't let me either. Yeah. The so only thing I can think of is we try to find somebody. Uh, do you know anybody in town that you think might have handcuffs? Do you have their phone number? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't have many phone numbers. Who Whose number you got? You got Petrov? You got that guy's number? Um, all I have is Kip and Shaquille. Well, Kip's standing right here, and Shaquille, yeah. I don't know what's up with that dude. He ain't been around tonight. Yeah. Well, I guess we, uh, let's walk down here and see if somebody's down here. Maybe they call somebody for me. Uh, you don't have handcuffs on no more in my eyes. When you when you knocked me over, it got me out. Oh, do it to me. Do it to me. Oh, shit, dog. Look at that. All right, so, um, all right, we got out of that situation. I don't know how the hell that happened, but we got out of that situation. I just, I woke up in the hospital, and I had handcuffs on. Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me see if, uh, if that, is that devil man around here somewhere? 
I don't know. Oh, I, I still can't get in my phone. So we are technically still handcuffed right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get in mine either. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, B. Uh, so you want to think slash reload skin to put them handcuffs back on. We still ain't out of this yet. I'll be damned. Alright, so... I don't know what to do next. I'm afraid to go to the police. I, I know you, you girl, you didn't have nothing to do with this. You, I told you to walk away. Yeah. Yeah. I remember doing that. I remember telling you to walk away. And next thing I know, you're coming in out of pillbox behind me. Yeah. I try, I try to warn you. So maybe we just tell the police we don't know what happened. Maybe. I'm going to walk down there. Yo, bro, what are you doing? What are y'all doing? I woke up in the hospital with freaking handcuffs on. What are you doing? What'd you do to us? I didn't do nothing. Um, follow me to go to PD with me real quick. Does this mean he's a cop? I don't know what you're talking about. I woke up in the hospital in handcuffs. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Nope. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, man. I, I took you out to show you a spot. Next thing I know, I wake up in a hospital with handcuffs on. Yeah, man, that was some wild shit, wasn't it, man? Look, I don't know what happened. The ambulance came and picked my ass up, too. I don't, I don't remember nothing, really. I tell you what my memory is not foggy about, though. You were very hesitant about showing me your number. And you work here, obviously. You had keys to the door. So I'm gonna walk, I'm going to walk away from here. And you can walk wherever you want to walk, but I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I guess I have a good day. Oh, you too, sir. Thank you. You too. I'm going to call my car over here. I'll get the valet service.
Uh, you might have to call your car too, lady. Yeah. All right, it's all the way around the block. Come on, come on, Kip. Hey, I I'll share you my number in case you need to call anything. Are you cool? You cool with that? Yeah, I am. All right, lady, lady you. I, I, my name is DJ Rowe. You ever need anything? You let me know, okay? Okay. All right, let's go, Good. Kip. Let's go. Let's go, Kip. <laughs> That's that lady's car. Oh, we need to we need to go get your car, huh? I can always valet it over here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm about to fly out this bitch. Yeah, I'm about to fly out this bitch before I catch a case. Yeah, me too. Oh, what are you doing here, Mr. Devil Man? Mr. Devil Man's over here. 